in this video, Reese and I headed off to the ACT Dressage Association Think Stream Canberra Classic. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, we were doing the Novice Pony Championships, which was the 2B and the 2C. We had our, our draw was nice and early, which was good because it was going to be a warm day. So I was really happy with that. We headed off nice and early and I did the most terrible thing that I haven't done since I was, I don't know, eight years old or something. I forgot my girth and I couldn't believe it. Especially since the day before when I was packing the float, I actually commented about, you know, you just take one horse to one, you know, a dressage day just for the day. They, Gee, there's not much stuff to pack, is it? You know, considering the last time we went anywhere, we were going away for three days and we were staying there and, so it was all the camping stuff, all the horse stuff, all the feed stuff, all the competition stuff. But no, it was just me and one horse for two dressage tests. And I got a bit complacent, I think. And I commented about how you don't take much stuff. I didn't take enough stuff. We got there and I just happened to pop into my head. I hadn't even got to saddling up yet or anything. And I went, oh my God. I did not pack my girth. And as it happened, I brought my gear in to clean it on the Friday and I didn't bring the girth because I take a different girth. I don't use my work girth and it was already clean and put away where it lives. So I didn't need to bring it in and clean it. And then I've just taken my gear out and popped it in the float and job was done. But the job was not done. So anyway, I had a mad panic. I started messaging people and it was like 7.30 in the morning. And um, yeah, I went, oh no. And I just went up, started asking people. Well, that was my plan. I was just gonna go and ask people, do you have a girth I could borrow? And thankfully the first person I asked who was parked sort of behind us on the other side of the fence had one that she could lend me. Thank God, she absolutely saved my life. And you know, <laughs> I said to Lily, I said to everybody, if Lily had done that, I would have been so mad, but actually Lily did forget a girth at a show done with me not, not that long ago. It was just good luck, but that we had Bumper there and somehow Bumper's girth fits on Reese and Reese's saddle as well. So we could just like alternate it and they were in the same classes so they weren't on at the same time, but I didn't have that luxury at the dressage. So I was just so thankful that somebody could lend me one. And, you know, I'm not the first person to do it. It happens all the time. And, you know, so many people do it, lend stuff, you know, like I would if somebody came and said to me, oh my God, I've forgotten whatever it is. If I had one spare, I'd lend it. And yeah, I'm so grateful that they did. And anyway, so we got on, we got a girth, we got on and off we went. And yeah, we had a, lovely time and these are our tests this first test is the 2b i felt it felt awful <laughs> we came in and when we went down to start at a he just got down the bottom there and he came up and he came back and he got tight and i thought oh this is going to be terrible and that was a very terrible halt and it kind of it wasn't as terrible as I felt it to be. You know, they always look better than they feel, but it certainly had a lot of room for improvement and was certainly not the test that I know he can do and the test that I was hoping for in the morning. And uh, when we warmed up, he was really quite, um, I don't know, dull. <laughs> I was saying to Mel that hmm, maybe I should have brought my spurs, but... I'm very glad I didn't have them on in the test because the way he got all tense and stuff, it would have been not very productive. I feel that there's, um, yeah, he would have gone, no, I don't want a bar of that spur. And there would have been a lot more very obvious unpleasantness. But yeah, this is our second length. And now he's got to learn to not rush and to sit and extend without running on but he's getting there you know I can actually feel the lengthen in him now which he's never been very good at lengthens 
so it's getting there it's nice when you feel the improvements our leg yields were reasonably decent in the one before to the right he does come out through the right shoulder a bit that's his thing if we're circling to the right he falls in he drops that shoulder when we're going to the left he falls out through it so at least he's consistent it's that right shoulder all the time um, our walks to start with you know the first medium walk it wasn't terrible I think one of the comments was about dropping his pole but you know it's not a terrible walk his free walk he tends to he just doesn't really over track he doesn't really keep that activity that he's he needs but it's again like many of the other things a lot better than it was to start with and we get here to V and we do our medium jog which he started doing a lot of and I don't really know why I've never been one to pick up the reins and trot off and here we oh, big root into canner <laughs> the judge and the penciler in that car Mella Lily I could both hear her go oh as he pig rooted his way in but yeah our canners they, they scored reasonably decently for the most part but um I really didn't feel it I thought they felt very tight very tense I think he um yeah especially the second half of the test after our walk he had a lot better inside that he just did not want to come across with the comment from one of the judges I think it was the C judge the first line says such a personality I thought you only barely got a glimpse of his personality he really is Mr Personality yeah so this is our 2B the first test that we did it was pretty disappointing to be honest as far as I felt it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as it felt but it felt pretty average uh, we come around with our stretchy trot circle is the last thing that we really do before we come up the center line and he just said no he didn't want to stretch at all he was not taking the reins he just went oh I'll run I'll just go faster so in the end I just gave up we just didn't really stretch at all and I just went well that's <laughs> it's it all over anyway so whatever and um yeah we got 64.8 something percent in this test and we came fourth which you know doesn't suck it's not a terrible score to be honest I thought that their score probably could have been a little bit harsher but it sort of goes to show really the difference in judges at least we do a, I think we do a much better halt at the end than we did at the start but um yeah the you know we scored 20 64 sorry in that test 64.8 and now this test here is the 2c and we scored 64.7 something or other and I find it quite entertaining the difference between judges because writing them, oh, how judges score, you know, everybody has their own own thing, how they score, what they like, what they find absolutely unacceptable. You know, this is the 2C, and I felt it was a much better test. It felt so much better, like it was, you know, chalk and cheese, and it actually scored just a smidgen less than the other test. And, you know, the scores were consistent in each ring kind of thing. Like, it wasn't just, oh, I was hard done by or anything like that. But, um, yeah, I thought it was just amazing how different the test felt and how similarly, similarly they scored. This comment in that leg yield to the right was again about losing that right shoulder which it was it was very obvious and um, yeah it needs to be a little bit more supple in his circles <laughs> and it was really nice that both of the judges in this test both of the 
scores and the comments were very consistent like they weren't always the same same scores but for the most part they were within a half a mark of each other and quite often have very similar kind of comments so that's good it you know it gives you something really solid to work with it's pretty consistent across the board it's not like oh you know I don't really see that it's very obvious stuff he did a much better stretchy trot in this circle. I know he's not stretching a huge amount. And, you know, that was one of the comments that he needs to stretch more. But he at least took the reins a little bit. He stayed in a nice even tempo. He didn't just go rushing off. He stayed somewhat bent to the right on the right circle. So it felt a lot better. The whole test just felt so much better than the first one. I know, you know, I was the first one to go in this class and I came out feeling that that was really nice. I was really happy with that. It was, you know, always room to improvement, room for improvement, always room to get better. But I felt that it was much more representative of where he's at at the moment than the other one. And I know, sitting here watching them, they really don't look all that different but I can tell you they felt worlds apart so anyway we did the 2c and um, yeah we scored 2.7 something or other percent in this one and we actually won this test which was very exciting for us I was so happy with that and like I said I just felt it was a much better test overall there's really good feedback from the judges on the score sheets and it gives us plenty to work on going forward. And yeah, I felt much more confidence on confident on him in the canter that I could put my leg on and he wasn't going to go oh, and throw in a change, which is what he does when he's in a bit of a mood. In that first test, I really, especially to the right, he was sort of swinging his quarters in, especially down the long side and I just knew if I'd put my inside leg on, we would have thrown in a flying change at H, I reckon, which is not exactly ideal. He just he gets in his little mood about that, and that's his go-to move. So he was much more cooperative and rideable in this one. There was not really as much nursing him along going, there, there, Reese, let's just get to the other side of it. I think the main takeaways from the tests here on this day were really all to watch the tempo, not to let him hurry along, especially in the lengthens, which is something that we're actively working on. And I always find it so confusing, you know, you watch a test that somebody puts up somewhere and they scored really well and, you know, they it kind of almost looks like they're trotting in fast forward and yet they scored fabulously well and then you know you get other comments like this where you're going you're going too fast you need to slow the tempo down and you know obviously I do it's a pretty common comment but on my tests and it's just it's so confusing I really maybe I need to actually get some lessons at some point which would be nice but trying to find <laughs> an instructor that has time and fits into my time it's not that easy so anyway it's something that I'm working on I'm looking into and hopefully we'll get that done sometime soon but anyway we got a couple of reasonably decent scores and we actually won that 2c test which was very exciting for me I was super happy with that So yeah, that was our tests. I was pretty disappointed with our first test. I was so happy with our second test. And it just goes to show, you know, you talk about scores, how subjective they are, you know. It's still, yes, they're standards that, you know, scores should 
line up with, but everyone's different. And those two tests to me riding them were chalk and cheese. I don't, they actually didn't look that different watching them back now, but riding them, they felt so different. Yet they scored almost the same score. One was fourth place and one was first place. And you know, there was in the championship, there was four of us that finished on the same championship points. So there's three of us going, if only I'd done just that a little bit better, then, you know, maybe we would have been champion or reserve. But that's how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? And it's just, I feel really happy with how he's going. It shows to me that, you know, he's where he needs to be, which is good. Like I've never had a lesson on him. He's done some show jumping lessons with Lily. But as far as dressage goes, it's just been me and him playing around. And, you know, I've never even been to a dressage clinic. I haven't had a dressage lesson myself since, oh, I don't know, possibly before my kids were born. And, you know, Lily's nearly 17 now. So I feel really good that, you know, it shows he's coming along. He's getting to where he needs to be, you know, every time I take him out. Every time I get on him at home, really, I can feel the difference in him, how much he's coming along, how much stronger he's getting. And, you know, very clearly, there's still lots of areas to work on. But, you know, there always is. I'm sure everybody's still working on something. But it's good that, you know, he's getting his act together out and about. You know, that first test, I was so disappointed when we sort of, we got down to the bottom near A and I just felt him go, oh, and back and tense and I went oh, this is gonna be terrible and it wasn't as bad as it feels they never are as bad as they feel but it could have been so much better and you know that's stuff to work on for next time we're off to dressage again before the end of the year and we're gonna do some exciting things there and we'll see how he goes with it but anyway that was our adventure at ACT dressage and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.